X Factor, issue number five. They are the government strike force, made up of the most powerful patriotic and multiple mutants that will stem the tide of anarchy and make the country safe for democracy. X Factor. When the nation of Kokora fell, the world government scrambled to enlist mutants in their militaries, but some mutants decided they could make their own armies. The first generation of X Factor was sent to destroy the mutant mercenary organization known as X Term and its leader, Darkstar. Both sides took heavy losses. Now, the new X Factor has since found glory, celebrity, and even a second chance at love. But X Term has lain quiet ever since. Prisoners of the Fun Room. The nation is on full alert as Darkstar threatens to attack an unnamed target on U.S. soil. Only Americans are surprised when someone returns fire. After the imperious attack on Kunashir Island, our response was only a matter of time. And today, the time has come. This moment of decontextualized terror is brought to you by Fartech. Fartech, smart refrigerators, powered by Paperclip. AI technology. Ordering five dozen eggs now. Nevermore, secret military base. Foom! Jump inside the jet. So they told Havoc the location of the secret base, but they wouldn't tell Pyro. I'm hurt, mate. They programmed the coordinates into the jet. I'm not even flying this thing. Whoosh! You think this is about the X term threat? All signs point to yes, Frenzy. Oh, Oscar, our first mission has a couple. General Mills. I need to speak to your team later for a moment, while the rest of you wait in the fun room. I love you, Cecilia. Fun room, yeah, yeah. Oi, this is the fun room? Can we wait somewhere else? The fun room is giving everyone the creepy crawlies. Well, I wouldn't say everyone. X term has threatened an attack on American soil. Yeah, it's all over the news. Yeah, but did you didn't know that Congress is debating an emergency law to monitor disloyal mutants? Disloyal meaning who? Exactly, Roger. Oh, you know, extremist groups like the Mutant Underground? It's called Mutant Surveillance Act, and we want you to support it to encourage the cooperation of good mutants so we can keep the track of the bad. Good. Bad. What are we, dogs? You want me to be one of the good ones? You want me to betray Polaris and everything she stands for? You mean you haven't already? This is a story we've seen before. Even if they never arrest a single mutant, the law does its job simply by making it impossible for us to trust each other. Divided and some dude, we turn on each other. Incoming message reply. And blame each other for the pain they've caused. They want us to do what? Make click clock videos promoting the new mutant surveillance act. We need you to stop X term, but we can't do it that while we still have an informant inside X Factor. We've already cleared Granny and Cyber, but for the rest of you, we're going to need your communication devices and passwords. If there's a traitor in this room, we need to know now. So your phone and passwords, please. I got the world's greatest face tattoo removed for you, Lord. That's as far as I go. I agree about his position, not the tattoo. It's a no from me, boss. It's a no from all of us. Very well, but before you give me your final answers, there's something you need to understand. Nobody leaves this base until you agree. Oh, us? I'm sorry. You think I can have your attention for a minute? Pyro's starting to get hot-headed. Actually, I believe we'll be leaving now, love. This whole base is fireproof, Crocodile Dundee. Maybe, but are you? Havoc jumps in the middle. Wait, if everybody could just calm. What was that? We're under attack. Darkstar and X Term has invaded the base. We've been breached! Ah! As he bursts into flames. Phantasm, you're with me. This base holds a powerful mutants, and he will make an excellent addition to X Term. X term! They're inside the base! How do they know where this base is? I didn't even know. Yes, I wonder. Uh, I'll be hiding in this locker. Frenzy, Pyro, you're with me. No, don't. I know how X term works. They're setting up an ambush. I am Fartech 3000 Smart Refrigerator. Would you like to await your capture with a cold beverage? Eighth and Farthing equip the whole base with these damn things. Actually, I could go for a beer. 
Among other things, this base is home of a secret mutant prison. This way. Phantasm, if you would. Whoever's on the side of that door is in for a surprise. Well done. Now put your clothes back on. Can I assume all-powerful mutant we came here for is behind the door marked top secret? No, not that one. McCloud, hurry and break him out. Yes, we have unfinished business elsewhere. As you see McCloud, look towards the extern team. They are carrying like rats. Knock it down. Kathong! As we see, Mr. McCloud eating a whole bunch of sleeping pills. Listen, I'm a fugitive from extern. I know them. Kubonk! Whatever comes through that door, we gotta stop it. If they take us alive, we won't be for long. Luckily, I happen to be a plasma donor. Whoop! We're in! Rah! Huh? Who the hell are you? The cloud. And I think you should know. I've had a dozen sleepy pills. No, stop him. Whoosh! As McCloud turns into cloud vapor with sleeping pills, causing the whole team to cough and go to sleep. Onto the X-copter. As we see, everyone passed out with McCloud in the corner. Jump to the X-copter where Darkstar has the whole X-Factor team tied up and sedated. This ride will last 10 hours. I recommend you use the time to take about what you will say to convince me to let you live. I won't give you the satisfaction. You might as well kill me now. But as a courtesy, one general to another. Tell me who on my team gave you the location of our base. Tell me who my traitor was. Traitor? Nah. I have only an informant inside your base this whole time. But it wasn't any of your people. Then who? It obviously was McLeod. Possible. His cell was hermetically sealed. This McLeod he didn't happen to have a smart refrigerator, did he? McLeod first contacted us to warn us about the attack on our base. Refrigerator, could you order me a glazed ham for the X Factor jet? Sure thing, sending ham to Kusha Island. You realize you can email people from those things, right? You can? I blame myself. Yeah, I blame you too. The teleporter is coming too. No! While you may have been betrayed by a smart refrigerator, I actually do have a traitor on board. I told you when I hired you, Winter Geist. Ugh! Nobody leaves ex Oscar! Asuka! To be fair, you went totally wrong. I also gave away our location. What? A who? Why are we turning around? I don't know. I'm not in control. Everyone expected Darkstar to hit the capital for the stock stage. Instead, she gambled her life to break a single mutant out of prison. Magnetism? <laughs> it's such an underrated power, Polaris. What would I do without you? Bruin, you would be dead without me. As horrible as she is, perhaps she realized something we'd all forgotten. Hello? Uh, are the bad men gone? Kakram! As the helicopter lands on the deck. That in a world that would just as soon see us dead. Oh no, Oscar! I'm so sorry, say. The only thing of any real value, Polaris, is each other. I'm so happy. I can't believe. I'm so sorry. I know, Alex. I know. I'm just not sure that's enough. Next, Betrayed. X Factor survived their most grueling trial yet. Who can they turn to? And can they endure another betrayal? Let's see an X Factor number six.